Now, uh, Sheikh, how can we, uh, when it comes to du'a, uh, how can we make sure that we are properly uh, making du'a in a way that will has the best chance of being uh, heard by Allah, meaning um, uh, that it pleases Allah, and that we get uh, yes, and that is accepted, um, and also that we're saying the right things. Because maybe sometimes, Sheikh, we can ask for things that are bad for us, or maybe make demands, you know, in the wrong way. Uh, uh, what are the etiquettes of may, just making sure you're making du'a the right way and the way that's most pleasing to Allah first of all, and then after that, you know, w- one that can get accepted. I mean, at the end of the day, a person when he makes du'a, he needs to first. Uh, yes, there are certain times where du'as are accepted. There are. It is more about saying. A dua is ibadah. When you are making dua and you are praying, that is ibadah. That is a, a form of worship. But we should not be such that when a person, when he is making dua, and then he gets frustrated, for example, and he says, "My dua, I'm making dua, but it's not getting accepted." This is, uh, we say. And the danger because you are engaging in dua and we should not have that expectation that our dua will be responded to immediately. It is not like saying, I'm making dua every day for so long and I, my dua is going unanswered. So that is why we said, yes, you have to make dua and have that yaqeen that Allah will. Re- is going to respond to your dua but when we are raising our hands we should not think that our dua whatever we are asking for and we don't see the result it is not like you, we should you know we are expecting immediate results it doesn't work like that person is making dua in earnestness and is praying yes indeed Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٍ If any one of my servant ask you about me, say to him, I am near. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ I answer the call of every caller when he calls. So when you're making a dua, Allah Ta'ala, He is listening to your dua. He, he answers your dua, but the question is, how does Almighty Allah Ta'ala respond to a somebody's dua? So he knows. But sometimes your dua is responded to immediately. Sometimes there is a delay in your answer. And sometimes you may not even see the dua being answered in this dunya. You may get something in the akhirah. So making a dua should really be a reminder that you when you are ma- when you are turning to Almighty Allah Ta'ala, and that is what Almighty Allah Ta'ala loves, that the servant continues and is making dua. But when exactly does the dua get accepted? This is only in the knowledge of Allah. And also at a, there are preventive factors. There are sometimes reasons why our du'as go unanswered. Think about that person when he's on a journey. And he is covered in dust and he's raising his hands up to the sky. Rasulullah reminds us about this person who is on a journey. His food is from haram, his clothing is from haram sources, his you know, drink is from haram. So how can such a person dua go answered? So we need to bear in mind that, you know, one is that we only remember Allah in our difficult times when we want to make dua. We have to make dua, but our condition is such that if we only understood what is the adab etiquette, why we make dua, when does the dua get answered? It is, you know, a lot of other uh, circular questions that one would need to understand about the, the dua itself. A very important part of our ibadah. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Thank you so much. Uh,